Hi, this is Alex Krasny reporting from the Partner Operations Advisory Board in New Orleans. We are here today with Matt Horner. With Worldwide Technology, I'm responsible for professional services as well as our Cisco Alliance team. Mm -hmm. Chris Zetterval, I'm with ABS Technology Architects in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I'm the Vice President of Operations. Kent McDonald from Longview Systems, all the way from uh, Calgary, Canada. Good afternoon. Thanks for the invite. What are the top issues you face in doing business with Cisco in your role? Uh, top issues, I, I think there's, there's one maybe ta tactical one. There's, there's just such an overabundance of information coming at our organization from a variety of different sources within Cisco. Um, I think the content is, is very good, but you sometimes uh, can't get to what you need through all the abundance of, of communication. So I think consolidating and organizing the way in which the communication comes into uh, the partner community or specifically to our organization would be a big help. And that's more of a tactical uh, item to look at. Maybe a, a more strategic is, is um, looking at a stronger business case as new products are released or new solutions are introduced to the market. The biggest challenge that I have is I'm setting one year and two year plans and Cisco's frequently changing their programs on a, a quarterly or biannual basis. Thus we're constantly having to adjust midstream uh, to accommodate the changes in the plans that were rolled out six months or 12 months ago. So a couple of challenges. One is, as I mentioned earlier, just our overall cost and training and certi certification and specialization. Mm -hmm. So that's a large investment that affects our profitability. The other is making sure that we leverage all the programs. They're continuing evolution. want to make sure that we remain competitive. And so uh, that program awareness and leverage mm -hmm. is really key. So we, one of the things we appreciate about Cisco is they've recognized some of our expertise. So having an investment like big bats or MOUs uh, help us to drive new advanced technologies. We certainly encourage that and welcome it. What opportunities do you see and how can Cisco help? Uh, you know, the opportunities that we see are, are really come in two areas. One is acquiring top talent. I think there's been uh, a shift in, in the supply and availability of top talent, so that's been a a benefit for us to, to pursue that. And the other opportunity is really to invest in our customers to build greater loyalty. I think anytime you have a, a challenging economic climate, um, there's always opportunity uh, to win new business and uh, uh, capitalize against competitors. And certainly in this climate, I feel that more businesses and organizations are reevaluating their technology purchases and their strategic technology plans. And um, with Cisco being the, the global leader in innovation, um, it certainly is an opportunity, I think, to have business leaders look more closely and, and really evaluate the solutions that best help them. So customers are looking for value. You know, what's going to save me operationally? Give me some innovative technology. So, you know, although we're seeing an impact on the slowdown in traditional business, we're seeing that new opportunities that we haven't witnessed in a long time. Managed service, we're seeing an upside in that. We're a fixed cost model. And then also in procurement as a service where we're going to customers to bring them on-site uh, consulting and value add to drive down their cost of procurement. Added that to the initiative around data center, mm -hmm. we actually see a lot of upside for 2009, 2010. Cisco is just absolutely second to none in terms of listening to their partner and customer com community and leading, being a market leader. Mm -hmm. So I would just encourage Cisco to continue to execute and continue to perform as a market leader because uh, the better you are, the stronger we're mm -hmm. going to be. So. Mm -hmm.